Hi everyone, I'm here with Michael Phelps. He just made a great surprise appearance uh, with Alan Abramson and Dick Ebersol. Michael, I know all eyes are usually on you. You're a very popular athlete. How are you able to keep it under wraps when you make an appearance like this? Uh, I mean, I, I was I had dinner with Dick last night and, and uh, he was talking about it and we were like, well maybe if we're up for it and we're everything is smooth at home with booms and, and traveling down here. Um, we'll stop by and, and I've known Alan forever. Alan wrote my first book and, and uh, you know we spent a lot of time together and known each other for, for a while. So it was, it was something for me that I was excited to do. Obviously I love hearing Dick talk about his stories and, and um, you know I've gone through three Olympics with him, four Olympics with him uh, and, and it's been a true treat for me just watching what he's done uh, for the Olympic movement for sports uh, in general and it's it's something that you know you don't get to see every day and I've been very fortunate to grow up with some of the best and and uh, Nicole is a fellow USC grad so she was excited to get back on campus so we made the trip down. So um, I know now that you're retired from Sweden what is um, what do you usually do now like what do your days look like? Uh, I try to get a workout in whenever I can, um, spend a lot of time with booms. Um, we travel still a ton, like I still have a bunch of engagements that I'm doing with sponsors or appearances and, and uh, so we're on the road a bunch with that but I mean we try to, we try to just really lay low and, and whether we're out, out back within, in, in the pool with Boomer, hanging out, jumping around, splashing around, just it, it's pretty much just playtime. And, and you know, I think it's, it's, a t it's a time for me to be able to look back at some of the things that I've been able to do in my career and fully understand what, what happened. Um, just because it's, you know, for so long, I was so regimented to going from one thing to the next to the next to the next and not really understanding what, what was taking place and what was going on. I was just doing something I loved and, and uh, kept working harder to try to get better. So you were a swimmer for, swimmer for almost your whole life. How hard has it been to kind of let go of that? And how much of a role did that play when you came out of retirement the first time? Um, well, I have, I have had two retirements. So this retirement is a lot easier. Uh, and I think it's because I was able to finish on my terms. I think that was something that was so important and something that I wanted to do. Uh, and in my first retirement, I didn't do that. Um, so, you know, for me being able to come back in a better place mentally and physically than I've ever been, um, made this last comeback just absolutely incredible. So um, I know you, you've been to a ton of Olympics. How have you seen the games evolve over time and grow? I mean, everyone is so different. Every city always offers so much. You know, whether you go from Sydney, I mean, I've been in Sydney, Athens, Beijing, London, and Rio. Um, I've gotten a chance to see some of the other cities, um, like away from the Olympics, but you know, I think that, you know, like, like what I said here today, the Olympic movement is something that's so powerful and, and just to be able to be a part of it where, you know, every four years our country goes through the election year and it, they, there's always so much controversy and, and, you know, I think the coolest thing about being an Olympian is we truly feel the Olympic love and, and the, the American love whenever we're, we're, we're competing in Olympic Games and I think that's one thing that's really cool is we'll be, we're always able to be, or we're always able to put stuff aside and get behind our country and root for our country and I think that's something that that is so powerful and so amazing to feel and to watch and and um, you know for me moving forward I won't be swimming anymore but I'll always be involved with the Olympics and and swimming and and trying to change and help it grow um, you know for me this has been a true dream come true to be able to accomplish the things that I've been able to accomplish and and um, now I hope there's there one kid, a few kids out there that has the same exact dream that, that I had, or a bigger dream that, that, that they're willing to sacrifice and, and be able to make sure they accomplish their goals and dreams. And uh, anything I can do to help is what I'm here for. And I know that you're really close with both Alan and Dick. How have you seen the relationship between athletes and the media change over time and throughout? Uh, I mean, for me, it's different. I, I, I have uh, a couple of really close reporters that I love and, and that I've always gotten along with even away from the field of play and, and um, I think that's something that I've been extremely fortunate to have. Um, you know, Alan's obviously been a, a very close family friend for a long time and, and um, like you heard me say earlier, Dick, Dick is like my father. You know, he's, he's a father figure to me and, and um, having them in my life and, and, and having them just be so supportive of everything that I'm doing but also I'm, it's, it, it goes the other way and, and we've been able to be, you know, go through so much together and um, you know, I think it's a, the, the media is always tough at times, but 
you know, I think it's it's um, kind of what, you know, for me, I can say I signed up for. You know, I signed up to do this, and, and there are some things that come with what I've been able to accomplish. So, um, you know, the media is, is great, but it's also challenging at times. But it's it's something that I think will continue to evolve and, and become better and better. And I know a lot, a lot of athletes have gone into broadcasting after, they're, after they've retired. Have you considered that at all? Um, you know, for me, to, to go into swimming broadcasting would be something that would be fun just because I'm so passionate about the sport and passionate about what I do and, and, and wanting to see change. So, you know, for me, I, I think it would be fun, and, and uh, it's probably a conversation that we'll end up having in, in a couple of years.